Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London for your international news around the world in five. Commemorations have taken place across the United States for George Floyd, the black man whose murder has set off a wave of protests across the country. Thousands of people gathered for a tribute in Minneapolis, standing in silence for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the amount of time Floyd was alleged to have been on the ground under the control of police. Civil rights leader Al Sharpton vowed that mass protests would continue until there was change in the whole of the U.S. system of justice. Democrats are also gathered in Emancipation Hall on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. on Thursday to pay tribute. Some knelt as they also observed an 8-minute, 46-second moment of silence. <laughs> Demonstrations and vigils also took place in cities across the country. In New York, thousands marched over Brooklyn Bridge, while in Detroit, buildings were lit purple in honor of Floyd. Videos of police brutality during protests have also emerged. In Buffalo, a city in New York State, two officers were suspended after they were seen shoving an elderly white man to the ground. The police weren't always battling demonstrators, though. Here in Lincoln, a city in the state of Nebraska, police and community activists danced after working together to address complaints about law enforcement issues. Three of the four Minneapolis police officers who arrested Floyd have made their first court appearance to face charges of aiding and abetting his murder. The fourth policeman has been charged with second-degree murder and appeared before a judge last week. Forces belonging to the Libyan National Army led by Khalifa Haftar have confirmed their redeployment away from the Libyan capital. It's after Libya's internationally recognized government regained control of Tripoli, driving eastern forces out of the capital after a year of conflict in which foreign powers poured in arms and fighters. The main outside powers engaged in the conflict have welcomed the decision to resume ceasefire talks and have publicly said they support a political resolution but are yet to agree on a long-term settlement. A group of Hong Kong artists have reenacted a famous scene from the Tiananmen Square uprising during which a man stood in front of tanks as Chinese troops opened fire on pro-democracy protesters. Since the 1989 protests, these images of a man blocking a tank have become a symbol of peaceful protest and resistance to state violence. The artists imitated the unidentified man wearing similar outfits and holding shopping bags in each hand as they stood silently in front of the Hong Kong government's headquarters. Thousands took to the streets in Hong Kong on Thursday to commemorate the Tiananmen crackdown despite a police ban on the vigil due to COVID-19. Madagascar's education minister has been sacked after announcing a plan to buy sweets for students to take the edge off the bitter taste of a herbal tea the president said is a coronavirus remedy. Minister Rijasoa Andrea Manana said she was ordering $2.2 million worth of sweets to go with the remedy, which some experts have warned is useless against COVID-19. The fact so much money was going to sweets in one of the world's poorest countries sparked outrage and the order was cancelled. In northern Norway, several buildings have been destroyed by a powerful landslide that caused them to collapse into the sea. The 800-metre-long slide took with it eight buildings and a caravan, but there were no reports of any deaths or injuries. Local media reported that one person had been evacuated and that a dog, which had been swept into the sea, swam ashore to safety. And finally, an 80-year-old grandma selling red apricots in northwestern China's Shanxi province has won the hearts of many people across the country through her lively style of live streaming. During her live streams, Sui demonstrates how soft and delicious the apricots are, a feat that is further illustrated by her lack of teeth. Her videos have received more than 10 million views in a week and have boosted the daily sales of local apricots to over 10,000 yuan. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.